leading the debate on the bill at Tuesday's plenary section. Sponsor of the bill, Senator Sani Mosa, said existing legislation of the firearms bill is inaccurate and does not meet the needs of the contemporary society. The illicit proliferation of small arms and light weapons has had a dramatic impact on peace and security in Africa, threatening not only the existence of countries, but also the livelihoods of millions of people across the continent. From available statistics provided by the United Nations Regional Center for Peace and Disarmament in Africa, it was reported that proliferation of illicit small arms and light weapons in Nigeria has reached an alarming proportion. Lawmaker who supported the consideration of the bill added that the bill should also focus on the control of local manufacturer of firearms. We have had instances where some of those manufacturers have uh, adapted the capacity uh, to manufacture more deadly weapons. So, Mr. President, I think we also need to dedicate certain sections uh, of the bill uh, to actually focus on uh, uh, the banning and manufacture and the control uh, of local manufacturing. A bill for an act to repeal the Firearms Act No. 32, 1959, Cap F-20, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria, 2004, and to establish a comprehensive system of firearms control and to provide for matters connected there with 2022 Sakari been taken. And the bill is referred to the Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters to report that within four weeks. Meanwhile, the Senate has forwarded President Muhammad Buhari's request for the confirmation of Mrs. Emily Chidima as Executive Director of the Nigerian Deposit Insurance Corporation and other requests for the confirmation of the appointment of Executive Directors of the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulator Authority to the Committee on Petroleum. The nominees are expected to appear before the relevant committee for screening. From the National Assembly, Esther Oshosea, TNTV Network, Abuja.